All right, Classic Racers. Um, found this game on Steam. It was free when I picked it up. I don't know how much it is now. I think it's like five bucks. So this is just a little playthrough to see what you're getting for the price of whatever it is. I had a couple of races already. I hated the video. I'm re-recording it. So let's uh, let's go back and do some free runs and see what that's all about. The Citroen SD Rally, rally version of the well-known hydraulic suspension car. And heavy chassis po posed on a suspension too soft and too unstable and moved by an underpowered engine. In other words, maximum fun! The Bartha 495 SASA. The Bartha 495 SS Super Sport is the one that always gives you a smile. Agile, responsive, and terribly fast for so little a car. The Bartha's guys are so awesome sorcerers that they, that they can transform a donkey into a racehorse. <laughs> Astun Macro. Okay, the British guys of Astun have claimed that they could compete in the World Rally Championship with no power and a small car. Everyone laughed. <laughs> then they won the Monte Carlo. Everyone cried. <laughs> Who wrote these? These are amazing. Fred GT50. <laughs> Fast as the wind, powerful as the storm. Can you be courageous enough to dompt this wild American machine? The Perche Long Tail. Perche has built this car to compete with the mighty Fred GT50 and the Cavalino 440p3. Its best advantage, it's aerodynamic. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with a Bartha. The little, uh... I think this is the donkey into a racehorse car. So luckily I am... I am well trained in keyboard racing with some Forza Motorsport 7 races. And uh, I do have a little practice under my belt with this game already. The physics are a little weird. Uh, braking is a little, uh, I don't know, the game just feels really weird and awkward. I'm going to say that right off the bat. The racing, uh, some of the cars can be actually fun to drive. These, these slower cars, these rally type cars, they're actually a lot of fun to drive. When you start racing Le Mans type cars around this track, around these type of tracks, uh, it gets to be a little frustrating because those cars are not meant for tiny little dirt tracks. Yeah, 57 seconds. Let's check the leaderboards. Show your worldwide position. Okay, let's do that. Okay, that was four thousand. I'm that was like thirty seconds behind the number one time. How the hell is that even possible? So this is the second track on Classic Racers. Uh, this one's a little bit more technical, but it's actually still relatively fun, especially in the slower cars. And you know what? This is something I wanted to experiment with. Let's see if cutting the grass is even faster. Let's do a little bit of free roam rush on the classic racers. Um, no, the grass is really, really, really slows you down. So I don't recommend going through the grass. All right, so race number two is complete. Let's go to the third one. And oh my god, it's still 30 seconds faster than me somehow. Yikes. Lady Life Taker, what kind of fucking name is that? Uh, let's go do something. Uh, let's drive something a little faster. Uh, I think the Citroen SD Rally may be the best choice. It's a step up in speed, but it also still handles really well. Gentlemen, get ready. Now this this track is just like a good hill climb, back and forth, tight turns. This is a lot of fun to do. Out of all the tracks I've played so far, which is only five, um, this is my one of my favorites. Yeah, this car handles really well. You can see that Pirelli knockoff sticker on the back of the car. <laughs> oh lord. So hey, that wasn't a bad run. Let's see the worldwide position. I'm still 26 seconds off the best bullshit. All right, we're gonna jump into the Fred GT50. Same track. I want to see if the leaderboard separates times by by the vehicles. If not, then that's kind of dumb. Oh oh man, this thing is rough to control. Holy crap! There's so much power going to the rear wheels. Time attack mountain thing. Oh goodness. Oh okay. The Fred GT50 is not doing too well. You know what? Screw it. Let's just see what... <laughs> Let's just jump the mountain. I am not feeling this car. I am... I'm not happy with you, Fred. Now this course, this stage here is a nice drive beside a creek or a river. And, uh... You haul ass down the riverside and, oh my goodness. Cross a bridge, you head back up the other way. And then that's the finish. 
relatively easily, but th th this is an easy stage, and this car is kind of a pain to drive. Ugh. So we're coming up on the hairpin. Gotta be careful, and oh! Straight into the bricks. They're still clapping for me, though. That's good. I, of course, like the Abarth and the Mini Cooper knockoffs, but this uh, Citroën knockoff is really fun to drive. It's fast. It's capable of handling whatever the hell game this game tries to throw at me. And oh, into the... Uh, look at that Michelin man. <laughs> that looked like me when I run away from the Golden Corral buffet when I'm stuffed full of mashed potatoes. Did you see that thing? Yeah, that's pretty much it. The game is is definitely different. It's definitely weird. It's a little awkward to use on the keyboard. The physics are a little goofy, but it still handles pretty well, too. The cars actually feel like they have weight to them. Uh, unfortunately, there is no force feedback in my keyboard, so, uh, you know, getting used to the road and everything is a little different. But, yeah, the game is... The graphics are okay. They're not bad. I don't know. This looks like it's a small team that worked on it. I didn't do my research beforehand. Some of the typos, though, are kind of funny, though. And I do appreciate it. I'm not making... I'm not laughing at, like, a haha. -ha, I'm making fun of it type of thing. I think it's a haha. -ha, like, it's just freaking awesome, really. And, uh, so, yeah. I mean, for all of its faults and simplicity, I... I actually think the game's okay. Give it a shot. It's nothing, uh, I wouldn't... If you can find it on sale, that's your best bet. But, uh, yeah, the game's okay. I'll just say that. I give it a 10 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Bye.